Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to another vlog. I'm, I'm so excited to be vlogging today. I'm supposed to be going to Home Goods, which is like the highlight of my day. And the owner of Lala Land wants me to come in and try a new drink. Drinking water with liquid IV. It is, it is like the perfect gloomy morning. I think it's like 7.50. It's literally 8.30. Went on a much longer walk than I thought, I guess. Took the pops on a walk, all that stuff. I have a lot of computer work to do, so I'm just gonna get cozy on my couch and I have all my fall candles burning and get some work done. Guys, like, look at how beautiful this looks. And then also, this over here. Like, are you kidding me? Wow. Guys, I just made the most beautiful fall breakfast. Like, that just looks incredible. I made protein pancakes, and then banana I cut some banana, cinnamon, syrup, looks so bomb. I'm actually hard boiling some eggs right now because I need to just have some on hand because I never get protein in the morning. It's 10.30, I just uploaded and finished editing an entire vlog, so I'm feeling good about that. I'm about to record some stuff for the podcast. I need to do intros, outros, ads, a little bit, a part of my solo episode for next week. This is the bonus. It's going to be the book club episode, which is exciting. Um, and just a few random things. So I need to get all of that done and sent in. I have been working all morning. I just finally heated up some of the lentil soup I made last night and I put glaze on top of it, which just really makes it so incredible. Um, so I'm having a little lunch break. I want my sister to call me back so we can go to Home Goods. Good afternoon. I just took a shower. For some reason, I've been doing like midday showers so much lately, but I finished my work for the day and I've been waiting for my sister to literally wake up. It is like 2 p.m. to go to Home Goods and she's not answering her phone. So at some point, I'm gonna have to leave without her. But I did want to film a first impressions of the Kosa's tinted face oil. This is the packaging. I think it's really cute. Ignore my bedroom. I'm currently washing the sheets. Guys, I need to go get flannels places. Like, I remember when flannels were, like, cool in high school, if you're my age, and then they became uncool, and everyone stopped wearing them, and, like, now they're back in. I wish I had, like, a flannel to wear this outfit. It's very fall. Also, pro tip, always get the Real Techniques sponges. You can get four of these for $14, and one beauty blender is $20. And in my opinion, these are better than beauty blenders. Like it's actually, you're being robbed. I do like beauty blenders a lot though. These are just more cost effective. Shake well before applying. I don't know if I'm supposed to even apply it with a blood, with a sponge. Okay, it's like immediately, hold on. Oh, it was immediately absorbing into the sponge. So I wanted to like not apply it straight onto the sponge. Should I be using a brush? Should I be using my fingers? I mean, I never really use my fingers, but. So it definitely like even out my skin tone and I already had an oil on, so this is gonna be really oily. So I'm definitely gonna have to go in with powder. Um, It's like super natural looking. I feel like I would have to actually wear it for the day to see if I even like it because I don't know. I'm just like breaking out. I'm finally getting masked me. I really want my sister to go to Home Goods with me, but. We were supposed to go at 9 a.m. and she texted me at 6 a.m. that she can't hasn't slept. So then she's like, let's go this afternoon. And I just assumed she'd be up before 2 p.m. So my skin is very oily now. Definitely I should not apply the other oil that I normally just apply daily underneath it. Oh, we're gonna try the Becca Hydra Mist Satin Mist Powder, guys. I don't know if my get ready with me is coming soon. So I tried out all of my new makeup. This powder is so weird because it's 50% water, which is like wild. But I just don't know if that's really gonna like help. But it's interesting because like when you put it on your face, it, you definitely feel it. Like it's definitely wet. Some people love this product and then I've heard some like not so great reviews. I don't know how I feel about it. Okay, so that made it look way less oily though. That did work. I have the Marc Jacobs bronzer. This packaging is just so beautiful and there's such a big mirror. It's so crazy what bronzer will do. Like, you can't really tell with the lighting, but 
This is my current favorite lip gloss, just the Tower. I was the Tower, the Tower 28 lip gloss. I actually, now that I'm applying the rest of my makeup, I really liked the Kosas stuff. Like, I think it's really cute. I'm just adding a little bit of blush. I already added highlight, but the dogs were barking so loud. So, all right, I'm gonna apply Hourglass, the best powder ever. My D Slick setting spray, this is really good for oily skin. Last mascara. Didn't even get mascara on my eyes, guys. Job well done. There we go. Earrings are from LA Fox. This is from Necklaces are Tella Rose. Guys, I'm so excited. I just got a new package from Recess. I shared these in vlogs probably months ago, but nothing has ever helped my anxiety so much. Like, I'm not really a CBD gal. It's never really worked for me, but these drinks, I'm not kidding. Like, they're the best thing that's ever happened to me. Take them midday when you're anxious or like a midday anxiety slump. This is when these like kill the game or when you're winding down at night when you're cooking, like instead of doing the like kombucha or wine, I'll do this. But I cannot just like, I literally cannot express to you guys how much this has helped my anxiety. Like they are the best drinks, I'm not kidding, to ever exist. Like I, I just cannot express this enough to you guys. If you guys use, I think I have a code, it's Kinsey15 and then I'll have a link down below. So you can either use either the link or the code. You get 15% off. They are definitely a little bit pricier, but honestly guys, like they are worth it. It is 1000% worth it. I have given up on my sister because who even knows where she is? So I am on my way to Home Goods. I'm gonna have an afternoon to myself. I was gonna go to La La Land, but I don't want to go without her, so hopefully she can go tomorrow. Oh my gosh, I should get like an apple cider. That sounds so good. This is a fall afternoon to myself, guys. Anyways, I want to go to Home Goods because I've mentioned already that I really want to replace the big print. Well, the prints in my kitchen with one big print. So I just want to look and see. And then I saw a few things online, just some people's Instagram stories that I've been liking lately from Home Goods. So I just want to see if there's anything good. Honestly, it's just a fall day. Home Goods just felt like the move. Oh, I'm listening to this Skinny Confidential with Dom now, guys. She really, she's big time now. I don't like any of the prints, which I'm not shocked by, but I do have some good stuff so far. Great baskets, great pillows, which I actually have a hard time finding pillows here, and a plant. You can't really see it. I don't even know where it's gonna go, but I actually like it. It's obviously fake, but I don't know. I actually like that, so I'll figure it out. Maybe like outside, honestly. <laughs> I don't know, can you put fake plants outside? Anyways, I really like the texture of these. I thought this would be good. Either I'm gonna put the bigger ones on the couch or just the shorter one or all. I don't know, we'll see. Honestly guys, this was a pretty successful home goods trip. I feel like I got a good amount of stuff and stuff that I really like. Nothing that I just bought because it's from home goods and cheap, but I'm feeling confident. So I'll show you guys a haul. All right guys, I'm back home. Oh, it was so cute. I'm gonna show you guys a little home goods haul. I forgot to actually show you this in the car. First thing I got is this. I thought it was super cute. It's very like trendy, very in. Also, it was only $14.99, so I thought that was like a really good deal. I see stuff like this on like H&M Home and Zara Home and at like way more expensive places, but I just wanted to see how I would like it. I'm not sure where I'm gonna put it yet. Next thing I got is just this brown basket. This just reminds me of things that I had in my house like growing up, but I just love grabbing baskets from them whenever I see one that I actually like because <laughs> baskets are hard to come by, okay? It's definitely like, a good basket goes a long way. Like this is something that I'll probably have for like literally ever. Next thing I got is this fig plant. I really liked it. I'm really picky with plants. I mean, it's kind of messed up. I need to fix it. This one was $24.99 compared at $36. I don't know what we're comparing it to, but um, I liked the actual pot itself. I don't know where I'm gonna put this. Like, I don't, it's not like tall enough to be a ground plant, but I'm putting it here for now because I just, 
Can't be bothered with it. Got another basket that looks great. This one will probably stay in the living area because I desperately need a basket here. Honestly, the problem is that I'm crate training the dog. So I can't wait till they're done crate training. That'll be a long time from now. And I can have that space again because I know what I want to do with it. But anyways, this is just going to be a basket where I'll put some blankets. I want to see. like, Okay, I got some pillows, which I actually normally don't find pillows. I like at home goods, but these are just so simple. How could I not like them? The big one was 20 and the smaller one was... 20, so all three of these were $20 each, but I thought these were great. One, I might use them on my bed, but first I'm gonna try to see what I, I'm gonna try these out on the couch. I may split them up, I don't know, we'll see. So I'm gonna do that. Honestly guys, I can't lie to you. I need to get ramen tonight. It's really becoming a problem. Wabi House is my favorite place ever. So, um, I'm gonna put my phone on the charger and figure out what I wanna do with like the basket over here and these pillows. So I like the pillows. I might just keep this one here. Let's see what it looks like without these two. Cause these two will probably get on my bed, but my bed, yeah, I think I'm probably gonna keep it just like that. It looks so messy and messed up as of right now, but I'm just gonna keep these here because I'm currently washing my sheets, so I'm not even gonna bother with that yet. I need to cut off these little like Ralph Lauren tags. Like that is not the vibe, but um, I'm glad I got them. I think that they're such great pillows. Coco girl. I put that here, which I'll probably move this basket to the other side of the couch so it's not as visible and there's more room here anyways, just so we have more. Um, but yeah, I feel like this is cozy, so I do like it. Coco, oh, uh, oh, do you wanna dance for us? Ooh. All right, guys, I'm now setting up my selfie stick which I just like don't understand how this is supposed to work. Okay, great. Um, so that was easy. I'm already iOS, let's see. I wanna see if this works. Oh, wow, there you go. I'm a little bit confused on like this part, but like we'll figure it out. Right, guys my beautiful I almost said sushi my beautiful ramen has arrived it is so good um, I don't know how to pronounce this stuff guys I just I'm honestly don't know how to pronounce anything so it's kind of embarrassing but um, I get this Yukimin ramen it's only like eleven dollars it is so bomb and then it's Wabi House off Lower Greenville and it is so good my cousin showed it to me and like I just can't stop eating it it is just, and it's also like the best thing to eat when it's cold and rainy out. Like, oh my Good God. morning, guys. Does anyone else's dog like bring their food with them everywhere? Let me know if you guys like all the pillows on here. I feel like it isn't as like modern with all of these. And I feel like these are actually going to go up on my bed. But maybe not the short one. I don't know. Maybe I'll go back because I'm surprised. Anyways, I'm currently, it is 9.08 a.m. And Fitz has a vet appointment at 10, his very first one. Are you so excited? He doesn't know what the word means yet. Actually, we're going to the vet. Neither does Coco, and like, she kind of knows, tree? Okay, I should, that's mean. She doesn't know tree. Fitz doesn't know it yet. I don't know, I feel like I just really lucked out in that department. Dom is calling. Hello. Hi. Okay hey guys, um, I don't think I even vlogged with Fitz in the back seat. Wow, I'm a new woman. So I'm trying a new vet out that my friend recommended because my vet, it's literally like $700 an appointment pretty much. So I mean granted like Coco's had problems and blah blah blah, but like to get neutered at my place, it's like 
starting at $600, which I feel like is so absurd because I don't remember it being that expensive for my other dogs. And I'm just like confused. I know like some places literally do it for like $35. It's like, I don't know if that's safe, but I'm just saying, I feel like $600 is a lot to start at, okay? So anyways, I'm going to this new place called Thrive Vet and I'm trying to find a parking lot at a parking spot at Starbucks. Can I even like sit out? Alright guys, update. They were like super super quick. Let's open this. I started reading The Good Fight by Janet Kramer. My so forgetting like so many different things, it was only $94, which normally at a different vet, I feel like it's a lot more expensive than that. Obviously, I don't have like my records from last time. They said that Fitz is only 31 pounds, guys. And like I can't imagine him getting bigger. I feel like he's so big. My stepdad is convinced he's gonna be 90 pounds and like I just don't see that, but his paws are huge. I mean, I'm totally fine with him getting bigger. It's not that I don't want him to get bigger. I just can't imagine it. I felt like, how is he only 31 pounds, guys? He's so big. Oh, update on the neutering in case any of you Dallas people need this information. So right now they have a, oh my God, this is the worst parking job I think I've ever done. Right now there's a wait list for surgeries for them. I guess there's just like too many that are needed. Guys, he doesn't even seem bad. Fitz, did you like that? I think Fitz just likes attention, so. Oh my gosh. You're not even mad at me. I can't believe it. Wow, okay. I'm back home and I'm still shocked that Fitz is only 41 pounds, or 31 pounds. 41 sounds more reasonable. Anyways, um, I'm home. I have a recording at four and then one at six tonight. The one at six is for the living room and it's gonna be really cool. It's all in like reconciliation and all that. So if you guys are interested, I have a faith-based Patreon where I do like podcast style episodes, videos, devotions, Bible studies, all that stuff. And then today at four, Maddie and I, Maddie from OK Sis, are recording a book club episode, which I'm really excited for. We read The Comeback. Anyways, I'm gonna clean up a little bit, figure out what I need to do because I have people coming tonight to record, because my friends are coming over tonight to record, so I wanna make sure that my house like looks good. They haven't been over yet. Guys, my Dyson is not working, and yes, it's probably from falling. I do have a warranty on it, so I'm trying to figure it out. So I have to use the old, good old room, everyone. I'm back to, um, I'm back to life before my Dyson. It looks very, very gray, very dark, um, very upsetting. And yeah, so that's where we're at right now, apparently. I've been working in my house and also like getting work done. I need to go record an ad read in the office really quick to send over to my producer for tomorrow's episode. I feel like I really don't actually. I need to clean up this office actually is what I need to do. Wow, that literally took me two minutes. It was just kind of cluttered, but now my office is clean again. I definitely do plan on getting a different desk for here, and I need to still, you know, at what point will I fix these edges? If you guys watched me back when I lived in LA, and I saw the prints that were never framed, <laughs> you know, that's the new version in this house, and also, like, that, those two prints have fallen, and I need to, like, tape them <gasps> inside their frame, but I just haven't gotten around to it. So, anyways, I do need a new desk, and I have a vision, but I'm curious as to what you guys think. I should do, I just feel like this just doesn't work in this room anymore. It wasn't terribly expensive either, and you know, Facebook Marketplace, I can always fix that. I love this chair so much. If you guys have ever wondered how podcast ads work, um, I don't think any of you have wondered, but I'm gonna tell you. So I'm with a network, I'm with Dear Media, which I am like literally the luckiest person in the entire world, the best network ever. They're so hard to sign with now too, and I got in at the right time. Basically, my network will send me an email like, hey, this brand wants to work with you, yes or no, what do you think? And depending on the brand, I'll say yes or no. I say no to a lot of them. I recently said no to like a very high paying deal. It was like a five figure deal. And I said no because it didn't match with me. So anyways, I'll say yes or no. Then they'll send me the official brand like offer memo. 
then it'll be like, hey, the X, hey, this advertiser bought six ads on your show. And then I do six ad placements for them throughout my show. They send me an ad read. It's kind of more like radio when it's podcasts rather than, it's not fair to say radio, but it's definitely more scripted with podcasts than it is with YouTube videos. But honestly, I love the sponsors I get on my podcast. I feel like I've learned about so many new brands and I actually love ads on podcasts. Like I feel like I just learned so much in general. Like that's how I originally even learned about like what I mean. It's like changed my life. So anyways, um, I'm doing one for Rory right now, which is actually really cool. Listen to the podcast. If you guys want like an online skin consultant service, like it's really, really cool. All right, so I just recorded the ad and I just want to say it's so cool. So I'm just going to share it with you guys here because like, why not? I mean, this is not sponsored, but it is Rory, which is hellorory.com slash I love you. And you can try out your personal instrument for just $5. Um, you get a free consultation and $5 for your first order. Basically, Rory is a digital health clinic just for women that can help treat all your skincare concerns from breakouts to redness. So if you guys listen to the podcast, you guys get really good deals and stuff like that too. But I just am so excited about the sponsor because it's such a cool thing. And I know that skincare is something that can really affect confidence levels. It comes, it, it hits the soul sometimes. You know what I mean? When you have, oh, what is happening? So anyways, I'm importing that. And then what I do is I get all my files together, which mine are already all together. I normally send this in earlier, but Taylor accidentally sent me a Zoom link for this. I don't know. We have like a whole spreadsheet, but there was like something wrong. And he was texting this morning and I'm like, no, Taylor, you literally sent me a Zoom link. Like it doesn't, that's not it. If you guys, guys, who misses Taylor like in the vlogs and on my podcast, which is my producer. If you guys listen to the Skinny Confidential, it's the same Taylor. So I think I have found the art piece that I want to replace my prints with in my kitchen. However, it doesn't ship until December and I don't have patience, but this is like kind of perfect. Oh yes, these have had a long fun ride, but here's the thing guys. I've had them in houses for like two years and I want to bring them down to the den I'm not getting rid of them, but I do want this to be a little bit more mature, especially as I'm going to be doing my kitchen, if my contractor ever gets back to me, guys. I feel like it's an ongoing joke of being an adult, which I've realized is that like your contractor just like, will just ghost you and you're like, wait, what? I'm being a true doll. I have my tape measure and I'm going to see if I like the size. So width is 44. Okay, here to here. Yeah, that seems good. Very, very exciting afternoon break. I've just been editing some stuff. I'm just doing a lot of like miscellaneous stuff today, but I got a Revolve haul or a Revolve package in the mail. So I'm gonna do a Revolve haul for you guys, which I'm really excited for. I could have sworn this came with a matching top or I ordered the matching top, but I guess I must not have. So whatever, these pants look so comfy. They're from Lovers and Friends. I got like all fall clothing. So we have so many sweaters in this haul, but it they just look so freaking soft and comfortable. I have shared my struggle with just pants in general. Like I feel like I can shop for anything and know what I want, but with pants, I always struggle and then I only like jeans and blah, 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 whatever. I got this sweater, which I thought was just like a good everyday sweater. This is House of Harlow. I'll have everything linked down below. The quality is just like next level and I'm just like so excited for this stuff. I got this set which I'm definitely going to change into right now. These pants uh, and the top are so comfortable. They're from Major L. I believe that's how you say it. Um, I got all of this in a size small by the way. Um, so soft, so cute, so comfy. We love this. Um, I'm literally going to change into it right after and then here's the matching top. So this is what I will be wearing because it is fall people. This top is so fun. I'm considering actually shooting it tomorrow for my podcast cover, but like how fun is this top guys? It wraps up. There's just these fun sleeves. They're actually really in this fall, but I just thought this was so fun and I like cannot wait to wear it. Okay. I also love this. So anything collared kind of like polo looking is really in Lauren. Literally I died when I watched Lauren's video and she's like a lot of, uh, She's like a bunch of bloggers like learn how to play tennis over COVID or like sh started shooting that way and now we all dress like tennis players, which is very true. But um, I think this is so cute. Even with just my hair up like this, I love the buttons. I think it's so fun. And I'm pretty picky when it comes to like collared things like this. And I feel like 
for me it has to just have something else to it or else I just don't like the look on me I don't know maybe I haven't tried it out enough but I really really love this top it's from Song of Style I, you know what Song of Style is my favorite brand on Revolve because that's where I get everything that I like die over it's, okay I got another sweater so comfy so easy to just throw on I feel like I'm so set for the fall like guys I'm really just thriving over this um I got this sweater which is just a big like kind of mock neck sweater cropped so it's still like flattering if I wear it with jeans love that the last thing I got is like last thing I got this definitely is a little bit more out there we've got some shoulder action going on right here but I still think it'll be super fun especially with like boots and stuff I have a pair of boots I got off Jeffrey Campbell coming I think this week and I'm so excited to share them with you guys because they are so in for the fall I'm actually gonna do a whole like styling TikTok and styling like Instagram reel and stuff with them because I just know that they're gonna be so in and I think they're the cutest boots ever I got a pair of flip-flops from Ray which you may be like Kinsey why'd you get flip-flops when it's fall and you don't even like flip-flops here's the thing flip-flops are very in and there is a chance it's gonna be warmer in Texas at some points even though I'm just training my mind to say no it won't be because it's been chilly okay but um i'm not a big i'm not a big flip-flop person but i got these because i actually don't mind these and i'll see how i like them i don't know they also threw this in for me it is the fairy godmother shimmering body oil gel from sunday riley which i'm really excited to try i love sunday riley it is pricey i am not gonna lie to you look at my hand with my self tanning it's like oh whoa guys this also, I feel like, blurs out your skin. <gasps> Whoa. This is amazing. I don't know if you can even tell on camera. Wow. Like, can you see the difference? I don't know. It's a bad, it's really bad because of my hands right now. Oh, also, I got a package from Luminale. I recorded a podcast with these incredible people a few weeks ago about how the microbiome like, affects like mental health and all this stuff and how bad the products are that we put in our mouth. Like, Guys, you need to listen to this episode because I was mind blown. Anyways, he was just telling me about all of his products and they sent them over to me and I'm really, really excited to actually get a chance to try them out. We have the whitening toothpaste. He says that his whitening strips like don't even leave you feeling sensitive and that they're like next level. So I really want to try these because I definitely need some whitening strips. By the way, I did order the art print and that will be here mid-December. I'm teaching myself patience. Um, and then this is the whitening mouthwash. So I just threw this set on and it is so comfortable, guys. Like, I cannot wait to wear this all day. I'm literally cooking, recording a book club podcast. Like, this is 40, you know what I mean? Alright guys, I ordered Velvet Taco. I'll have my DoorDash link down below. You actually get this on Caviar, but the stuff trans like transfers. Um, I get elote, which is like so bomb, and then some picnic chicken tacos. But I have so many recordings and things like that. Honestly, I just ordered lunch today because I just have things to do. And Currently, I'm working with three devices, my laptop also, I'm watching Hilary Duff's Architectural Digest video. Actually, I'm not watching it, I have it on the background. I'll pause it. Um, I'm gonna record with Maddie in 13 minutes, so I guess I, I'll ask her if she wants to do, do you want to do Zoom or FaceTime? everyone the house feels amazing it feels like fall my friends are coming over we're about to record update the set is the most comfortable thing i've ever worn so um i'm going to set everything up on the kitchen table just so we have like more room i think i'm hoping coco doesn't make a noise problems and challenges not just in relationships but in any area of our lives are what grow us and how we see fruit in our life.
and whether that's a running a business and you've started something from scratch and now you're facing challenges and and payments and you know contracts and clients and all this stuff that um, is difficult and there are moments then where you're going to want to quit and be like I'd rather just go work for somebody that already has it figured out and um, but the fruit of sticking that out and coming on the other side is you know worth it if there's freedom in your job and uh, financial peace and you know all these things that that could come with doing something like that the same way in a relationship um, as we are facing these issues and these problems and these challenges together we are uncovering more of who each other are and that is where we're really able to I think see out what God's called us to do together all right guys that is it for today's video I am just so grateful for my house i want to say because i feel like my home is like truly a home and i just feel so safe here and so comfy and like truly at home and i feel like when you move out when you're younger you like know what that means I'm really just rambling but when you move out when you're younger you know what that means because i feel like it takes a while before you have a space that like starts to feel like actual home again anyways i just recorded with my friends it was so good it's gonna be on the living room i'm just like so excited for this like it was such a good episode i'm actually gonna edit it right now i have my fire going, I just took fits out, and I think I'm gonna make some water, make some water. Why do I say it like that? I don't know, but I love you guys so much, hope you guys enjoyed this vlog, and I will talk to you guys soon, bye.